Okay, here we go with the next four bars. We've changed sound. You will notice we're using a, a clean sound with a chorus, with the speed of the chorus set quite fast. So we get that kind of uh, very fast, kind of rotating effect almost. Okay, now the first beat of this bar is actually played with a distortion sound hitting the top of that C minor chord, which I spoke about in the last section, so I won't be playing that first note because I'll just be using this clean sound, but you know that note's gonna be there. Okay, let's play these four bars. They sound like this. One, two, three, four, one. Okay, so we play 10 on the D, 7 on the G, 8 on the G. Then you hammer from 8G to 10G to 8B. Then you play 8 on the D and do the same lick again. Then play the whole thing again. Okay, so basically you have that three times, the only difference being the first time you don't have this 8D tagging on the start. So let's just play that section. Three, four, one. Then we have this little motif, which is 8D to 10G. Then we play 8G to 10G back to 8G. Then we slide from 7B up to 8B and play 11B. Then we have the 8D again and we play that same lick and then play a little 8D to lead us into the next section. Very simple, let's just play it through once and then we can hear how it goes. Two, three, four, one. Okay, here we go with the next section and this lasts for two bars and it sounds like this. One, two, three, four. Okay, so what's happening here is we're playing 8B and then we're playing 11B twice and on the second time we're pulling off to 8B. Okay, can you hear that little lick? Then we play 11B again, followed by 8 high E. Then we bend that 11B up a whole step. Then we play this lick. Which is playing 8 high E to 11B. Then we bend 10G up a whole step, let it down. Then play eight on the G, 10 on the B. Finishing off with that 10 on the D. So let's play the whole lick. Three, four. Okay, now we play a hammer from eight G to 10 G. Finishing on that eight B. Then we play 10 D to 10 G to eight B. Then we play a 10D that will take us into the next part. So let's just repeat this. Here we go. Two, three, four. Okay, here we go with the next section. It lasts for two bars with one extra note landing on the first beat of the third bar. Here's how it sounds. Two, three, Four. Okay, so we bend 10G up a whole step, play 8B, 8 high E, then play 11B to 8B, then we bend 10G up a whole step, let it down slowly, play 8 on the G, followed by 10 on the D, 10 on the G followed by 8B, 8G. Okay, whole lick, three, four.
Then we pull off from 10G to 8G. Then play 10D to 8D. Then we slide down from 10A to 8A and then pull off to 6A. Then we go back up, play 10 on the A. Slight bend on the 6A. And then that note that goes on the third beat, sorry, on the first beat of the third bar is that 8 low E. Bang. Okay, so let's just play the whole lick. Two, three, four. Okay, here we go with the next four bars. Um, very similar to something we've played previously, and you will hear that when I play the section. Um, the first note of this bar is an eight low E, which I tagged on the end of the last section. So I'm gonna play this section without it, and you'll hopefully be able to hear that uh, it kind of belongs to the last section rather than this one, uh, and it'll be easy for you to put the two together. Confused? You will be. Well, hopefully not when I've played it. Here we go. Two, three, four, one. Okay, so a couple of slight differences. We're sliding up to that 10 on the D to start off the lick. And then normally where we would hammer from 8G to 10G, finishing on that 8B, we put this little 10D just in before it. Okay, so the lick sounds like this. Now the rest is pretty much the same. Okay, so you can see that's the same as when we played it before, just with those couple of subtle differences. Okay, here we go with the next section. It lasts three bars, and it sounds like this. One, two, three, four. Okay, very similar lick to what we played before. We play the 8B, then play that 11B twice, and on the second time, pull off to 8B, and then play 11B again. Some of these things sound complicated, but hopefully when you hear them, you'll realise they're not. Okay, after you've played that, you play that 11B again, and then play that 8 high E, and then bend that 11B up a whole step. Okay? Then on the fourth beat of the bar, we play 8 high E, followed by 11B, followed by the 8B, and at that point, we bend this 10G upper whole step, followed by 8B and 8 high E. So let's just play up to there. Three, four. Okay, then we play 11B to 8B, then we bend up 10G up a whole step, let it down. Then play 8 on the B, sorry, on the G. Then 10 on the D. Okay, so let's play up to that point. Three, four. Now we play 8 on the B, 8 on the G. And then we actually hammer from that 8G up to 10G. Then play 8 on the B, 10 on the G. OK, so just recapping again. Here we go. 3, 4. Then on the second beat of the next bar, we play a similar phrase by bending this <coughs> 10G up a whole step, followed by 8B, 8 high E. Play 11B to 8B. Then we bend this 10G up a whole step, let it down. Play 8 on the G string. Then play 10 on the D. And then we play 8G and then slide the 10G to 12G. OK, so let's play the whole figure nice and slow. And you can hear how it sounds. Here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4.
Okay, this next section lasts for two bars, and the last note appears on the first beat of the second bar and sustains over while we pick up the distortion sound again that appears in the next section. So this is what it sounds like. Two, three, four, one. So we're sliding up from 10 on the A to 12 on the A. Then we play 10 on the D, and then slide from 12D to 14D, then play 12 on the G, and then do two hammer-on and pull-offs from 12 to 14 on the G. So nice and slowly, two, three, four, one. OK, I'm going to play the last three sections for you so you can hear what it all sounds like together. And here we go. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. OK, next section, it lasts four bars and we're back to our distortion sound. Uh, and they sound like this. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, two, three, four, one, two, three. OK, typical type of blues thing going on here. What we do to start off is we play 12G. 13B, and then we bend this 13 high up twice, and the second 13 high lasts for all of the bar that it's in, plus a bit of the bar that comes after it. Then after we've sustained it, we drop it down by striking it. Okay, then playing that 11 on the high E, and then playing the 13 to the 11 on the high E again. So it's So hopefully you can hear what I'm doing there. I'm dropping the note down, playing that 11 high E, then 13, then 11 again, then doing it again. Then I'm pushing this 13 high E up a whole step and then bending it twice more. It's kind of actually two bends in one. OK, so just uh, listen to what I'm doing and try and copy the phrase. That's the best way, because these things are really technically difficult to explain. But basically, what's happening is this. Then you let it down. Let it down, pull off to the 11, then pull off from 13 to 11 again. And then just slam your finger on that 13 high E and cut the note off. OK? Play the whole section and move on. Two, three, four, one. Two, three, four, one, two. Okay, here we go with the next section. It lasts six bars. Uh, normally wouldn't do this long, but uh, it kind of all runs together and it makes a little bit more sense uh, if you do this in a six bar section. So here we go. Two, three, four, one. Okay, so we're bending this 13 high up twice. Then we're letting it down and pulling off to 11 high. Then what we're doing is we're doing a little bend from 13 high up a half step, letting it down and pulling off to 11 high. So let's just have a listen to that. Uh, 
then we're pulling off from 13 high E to 11 high E and sliding down to 10 high E. And just putting a little pull off on the end of there from 11 to 10. Kind of all happens as one. Okay, so we're doing this little bend up and then releasing and pulling off. Then slamming our finger back onto 13 high E, pulling off to 11 and sliding down. Then pulling off to 11 to 10, from 11 to 10. Okay. So let's just play the whole lick. Two, three, four, one. Next, we bend 11 high E up a whole step. Let it down, then play 11 high E to 8 high E. And we play 11 B to 8 B. We bend 10 G up a whole step, let it down. Play 8 G to 10 D. And then play 8 B to 10, sorry, 8 B to 8 G to 10 D. Okay, so let's go as far as that. This is what we've got. Two, three, four, one. Two, three. Okay, then we play 8D to 10D and then two 8Gs. Then 8 to 10D again, then two 8Bs. And we play 8B, 11B, 9B. And that tags us into the next section. Okay, the next section lasts for three bars uh, and we're going to use the last part of the last section to kick us into this lick because it really kind of belongs to this lick. Um, and then in the last bar, we're going to miss out the last part of the last bar because it belongs to the lick that appears after this section. Okay, sounds a little bit confusing, I know, but when I play it, I think you're going to hear it and it's going to make perfect sense. So here we go. One, two, three, four. Okay, so we play 8B to 11B to 9B. Then we play that again. Then we play 8B. Then we slide from 10G up to 12G and then back to 10G. Then we play 8G to 10D. Then pull off from 10G to 8G. Then play 10D, 8D, 10D. Then twice on 8B. Then play 8B and then slide from 11B to 13B. And hit that 13B again and then play 11 high E but kind of choke it, do it quick. And you can put a little bend on there. Okay, so let's have the whole thing. Two, three, four. Okay, here we go with the next section. Uh, it lasts for two bars, and we're just gonna borrow the last part of the previous bar, and we're gonna cut off the last part of the end bar to do with where the licks belong and which bits belong to which, but as I said before, when you hear it, it will make perfect sense, trust me. Okay, so here we go with the lick. One, two, three. Okay, so we're playing 8B to 8 high E. Then we're playing 11 on the high E. Then we're doing this little repeated lick, which is hammer from 10 high E to 11 high E, pull off back to 10 high E, then pull off to 8 high E. Now I suggest that you spend a little bit of time learning that little lick by itself, okay? And then you put this 11 before it. Hopefully you can see how that's working. Okay, so that first part. Then we play it a further two times. Okay, then we pull off from 11 to 10 to 8. Okay, so let's play what we've got so far. One, two, three. 